Oh, hey everyone. Surprised to see me wearing a snazzy suit, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're wondering what am I uh, going to be reviewing this time, folks? Well, I thought, what the heck? Since this is a, uh, well, come to think of it, it's going to be a sci-fi since it is Asian month, I'm going to be reviewing to you a sci-fi superhero Japanese movie. So, why am I wearing, what am I doing wearing this suit? This hat? Superman! Well, since um, this is a uh, sci-fi superhero review, I thought it's appropriate to dress up as Superman. <laughs> since everybody loves Superman. Now, the Japanese superhero I'm going to review to you today... is Starman. No, not that Starman. From the DC Comics. Besides, one guy who becomes Starman dies and another one takes his place, so it's hard for me to catch up on those Starmans. And if some of you are thinking Jeff Bridges, uh, Starman, that doesn't count. He's not a superhero. He's just an alien. Starman I'm talking to you today is this Starman. 1965 Japanese mo superhero sci-fi movie, Starman. Now, come to think of it, I had to say, um, this Starman was the beginning of all those famous Japanese science fiction monster uh, TV shows and movies that we know in Japan. Like Ultraman and... Super Sentai, Japanese version of the Power Rangers. And of course, and of course among other, other uh, Japanese uh, monster superhero movies. And one thing that's really interesting about this one, the actor here in this movie, he goes by the name of Kent Yusu. Yus Yusui. Yusui. Well, that's how it's pronounced bet right here. Ken Yasui. And he's sort of type... Well... He started playing Starman back in, um... 1965. But of course he didn't do just one movie. He did about four Starman movies. Most of them is, of course, Attack from Mars, Evil Brain from Outer Space, Invaders from Space, and, of course, Atomic Ruler. And they all have different stories. And, of course, I watched them all, even though I have the Evil Brain from Outer Space from this uh, movie pack collection, Strange Tales. You can easily find them at Best Buy or Walmart or whatever. But I had to watch the other movies at YouTube because they're in the public domain. So it's easy for you to just look them up and you can just watch them anytime you want. Now here's a funny thing about it. I mean, most of these episodes... How... I mean... The whole point of the entire story is that... Every time when an evil alien from another planet who decided to wreak havoc upon the Earth, so a group of humble, peaceful aliens, who their costume looks like they're made out of household appliance and they all put together, and a bunch of, 
and of course a bunch of spandex people in costumes and so forth and they always knew that there is some kind of force of evil who decided to uh, create some havoc on earth so they sent Starman one of their best aliens who cares about the earth and is very friendly with children and children's do help in most of the movies and of course how he could communicate with other people he has this wrist device it kind of looked like a watch but it's actually a communicator where he can talk so he can talk English to anybody and he can and it can translate helping him hear what they're saying and his power ability he can fly he can fly real high like Superman he has super strength no bullets couldn't pierce him and of course he's pretty fast and that's about it. Of course, that's one thing that really bugs me in most of these uh, superhero movies. Why is it that this... Well, of course, they use the same cliche on monster movies, too. How come every time when a guy has a gun, and every time either a superhero or a monster stand right in front of them, they keep firing their gun at them, and they keep wasting their entire bullets? They're wasting all the bullets, hoping that creature would die. The creature or the superhero would die. And it keeps doing it again and again and again. I mean, if you can't take him down with one bullet, don't use your bullets at all. Try something. Try something else. Like that one episode of Superman I watch. An old black and white one. There is a redneck who has a problem with Superman, so every time when he shows up, he always keeps firing his gun at him. Every single time. It's stupid. Of course, I know. Of course, now I know. Instead of after their waste, their whole entire bullets, they always keep tossing their guns at them. See if that work. It's ridiculous. Now the story in these tales is very, very different. Attack from space there was a group of aliens and what they want to do is they want to control this scientist and his son and daughter and his apprentice and control them in order to spread some kind of virus throughout the earth so they can reign supreme of course one thing it's really ridiculous about these aliens they're dressing up like Nazi soldiers and even if you look real close some of them are doing the whole Nazi salute it's stupid now, the evil brain from outer space, it was about this guy who found this evil brain and he was trying to smuggle it away from the bad guy's eye. And surprisingly, one of the bad guys found it and kept it secret. Only Starman believed him, so now he's trying to find out where the evil brain is. Of course, one thing, one thing I laughed over was the costumes that the bad guy wore. They look like a bootleg version of a Batman costume. Because they have this bat symbol, except they had a skull on top, and they have long capes, and, and this head cover with ordinary mask. I mean, completely Batman bootleg. And of course, Invader from, uh, Invader from Space. Now there's these aliens from this underwater world and what they're trying to do is trying to find the plans in order to spread some kind of illness so people can get sick and they'll die so they can take over. And they want this scientist to um, find out what the cure is so they can destroy it. And what they did, they kidnapped the kids. So, um, so so the professor and his apprentice could tell them where the secret is at, where the cure is, so they can destroy it. And they also entertain people when they do a lot of performance, when they're doing a lot of spinning around and also cartwheeling and doing flips. And of course, Atomic Ruler, it's about this alien who has the atomic power 
he decide, he's from a planet called he's from a planet called Mongolia. Sounds a little different to Ming the Merciless, and Ming sounds a little Chinese. Hmm. And of course, he tries to make peace, but he's planning to destroy, um, trying to destroy Japan. Of course, that's Earth, and planning to take over everything. It's ridiculous. And of course, rumor has it that there was a TV series of Starman, but of course they didn't call it Starman, they call him, they call him Super Giant. Super Giant? Hmm. Some name. I mean, he's super, but I don't think he's a giant. Anyway, this here's my review of Starman. You should uh, look them up in the public domain and don't forget the names of the movies. And if some of you didn't hear the title, I'll probably type it down on, on the intro to let you know. And of course, if you want to know what he looks like, because the movie is in black and white, but I did find a picture here in color. And this is what Starman looks like in color. And sadly, the actor who played him, Kintatsu, I mean, Yusu, Yusui, Kinyasui, he passed away in 2014. But I looked him up on IMDb, he did a lot of things. So I gotta say, Kinyasui, he will be missed, but never forgotten, as Starman. Now, if you like this review of Starman, uh, please leave a comment down below, subscribe. As for me, I got some people to save. So, excuse me. Up, up, and away!